Less than 15% of kids have actually had their eyes examined before starting school. It's shocking because 80% of learning is visual, it's through our eyes. So these kids are struggling with misdiagnosed as having behavioral problems, attention problems, when a big component to what's holding them back is a vision-related learning difficulty. So today, uh, we're doing some vision experiments with four healthy adult uh, teachers. We want to put them through common conditions that are going to impact their ability to perform normal, everyday vision tasks. Essentially what we're doing is we're doing a little visual experiment. And the reason that it's important to have you guys here as teachers is because you're working with kids every single day. Vision and learning is huge. 80% of our learning comes from our eyes. So we're trying to demonstrate that there are very, very common uh, visual conditions that go undiagnosed and that kids live with in your classrooms every single day and you may not even know it. Every parent needs to know that this is possible. It's not always obvious. In fact, in many cases, it's not obvious. The best way to show somebody how a child sees is to have them see that same way. So what we're going to do today is demonstrate what non-obvious problems can look like. We're actually going to test your distance vision and your near vision. Similar to what would a child might experience in a school screening program. We had four volunteers and each of them we put through a different vision experiment. Riley uh, is nearsighted, so we didn't do anything to her eyes except not let her wear her glasses. Desiree uh, was experiencing convergence insufficiency. We put prism in front of her eyes to force the eyes to not work as a team, to not be able to look at the page, creating double vision for her. Michelle uh, was experiencing amblyopia. We put a contact lens in her right eye. This contact lens uh, blurred the vision to the point where she wasn't able to use her eyes as a team and one eye had to do all the work. And our last volunteer was Tanya. Tanya had contact lenses in both eyes and these contact lenses mimic astigmatism. So she saw distortion near and far and had a lot of difficulties keeping attention and concentration on anything she was doing. Okay, can you read the lowest line you can with your eye cover? L-E-P-D. Is that the lowest line you can see? Yes. Ideally, the 2020 line is the one above the red. So Riley uh, has difficulty. She's having trouble seeing in the distance. So Riley's example of a child that may have trouble seeing the blackboard. So a screening is going to pick this up. Can you try reading? We'll start with this line. Can you read this one? Yes. E D F C D E F P F C E P. As quickly as you can, I want you to read the numbers out loud, top to bottom. Okay. Nine two three six four. Three seven five seven four six five two. It's almost like instead of like a flat, it becomes three dimensional. So some some of it, it pops, off. some of it. Yeah. Do you remember a lot of what you just no, read? No, well, like not really. The whales appeared, and then I can't see what it says underneath the black line. Holes and filled their huge lungs. The Inuit gave something names. Are both your eyes open right now? I'd have to blink back and forth to see the different lines. You couldn't use both eyes as a team? No. I can see how the one eye, you would slowly start to disengage your brain because you want the good eye to take over. Mm -hmm. Tanya, you seem a little tired. I'm, I'm, I'm getting annoyed. I just felt like I didn't get a break. Everywhere I looked, things were distorted. So I could, my eyes couldn't rest for a minute unless I closed them or looked at like a flat surface. Like even faces, I'm, you know, I'm trying to listen to what you were saying, Chris, and, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't there anymore because... So you could have been looking right at me? I was. But you weren't? No. Riley was probably one of the most common reasons someone goes to see their eye doctor. It's because they come in and they say, I can't see the blackboard anymore. Or they're squinting to see the TV. So it's very obvious to the parents and to everyone. So there would be some sort of intervention here that would happen with Riley in a regular class because she failed that screening test. Yet she outperformed all you guys. It's easier to just go to something that doesn't require so much concentration or um, it doesn't rely on your eyes so much. It can really affect your uh, um, esteem, your self-esteem, your, your ability to want to read. Your, uh, you want, wanting to go to school, you wouldn't want to go to school. You'd rather be out playing on the playground where you don't have to use your eyes under this kind of strain and stress. Um, as much as these are tests, they're, they're mimicking the things that would happen in a classroom on a regular basis and things we're going to ask our students to do to, to learn. Absolutely, I'd talk to the person next to me or do something else, engage in something different where I could get my confidence back, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something where I'm like, oh, okay, I can do this just like everybody else, but and no one has to know about my eye problems, so I'm just going to be the kid who, you know, be, or be the student who just kind of rebels because it gives me more confidence yeah. to do that. You use that word rebel probably because it's an instinct. Did you change how you, what you refer to that as now, knowing that they're not actually choosing mm -hmm. to do something different? It's almost as if they can't do what was presented before. Maybe 
there's something bigger here that I'm not seeing and that has to be tended to first. In the primary grades, you learn to read and then in the junior intermediate, yes. you read to learn, right? Yeah. So I'm thinking about these kids who will always be having to focus so much on the word that, yeah, are they getting the content areas? Are, are they understanding as much as they could be? Because it's still a lot of work for them mm -hmm. just to look at the page. You can't do the basics of just looking at the page and reading. Mm -hmm. You're never going to enjoy reading, yeah. Yeah. ever. And you'll never know why. You'll just label yourself as someone who doesn't like reading. You'll yeah. 2020 is important, but there's so many other things that we've interfered with in terms of your skills, your ability to get information, your ability to process that information. 2020 gets you to pass that screening test, but it gets you to fail almost every other real life test, which you guys just went through today. Mm -hmm. we, we need kids to have their eyes examined by optometrists to look for things that a vision test, a vision screening isn't going to pick up.